Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I'm continuing and possibly concluding my playthrough of Mass Effect 1 because we've done pretty much all of the big side missions that I wanted to do. There's been a couple that I've missed out on just because timing didn't quite work out, so I feel like at this point, maybe it's time to start heading up on the end of the game. So I'll be curious to see uh, how the finale goes tonight. Hopefully we'll get to finish it. I'm just going to dedicate the whole stream to it, so that way we give it plenty of time to breathe. Hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. And MG Tower, welcome back to the stream for you as well. Now before I get into too much chit-chat, we do get some new followers between uh, last stream and tonight, so I want to give them a few shout-outs first. The first one goes out to Battle Bunny Night 8... Ooh, I think I might have written that wrong. Pulse. 1979. Battle Bunny 1979. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Battle Bunny. I want to give a shout out to C3 Geekio for the follow. Thank you so much. Bill the Dude 50. Thank you for the follow, Bill. Really appreciate it. Oh! Oh, cool. Gen X Dad Gaming. All right. Well, thank you for joining us again, Texas. Hope you're doing... Do you prefer... Or, uh... Bar bar yeah, Barbecue King Matt. My bad. Sorry. I'm a little frazzled with names in this moment here. Hey there, Tim A. Welcome back to the stream. Gabsby as well. Welcome back to the stream. So, do you still prefer Barbecue King Matt, or would you rather I go by Gen X Dad Gaming? Which would you prefer, if I'm, like, referring to? It's probably gonna be Gen X Dad, just because it's gonna be right there on my screen. I know it's a lot of names. Uh, so, last couple of shoutouts I want to give to some of the new followers before I get totally mixed up on the names and just bungle it again. I want to give a shout out to the Orange Brick 22 Thank you so much for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much for the follows. Yes, a lot of buttons. So, it might be a big night tonight. We might be doing the end of the game. That's what I'm hoping to get to. So, we'll see. No one else is catching whatever bugs. Ugh! Man, so that that cold that I had, I know there was still a, little, a few remnants of it in the last stream, just because my throat was still kind of acting up. There's some bad colds going around. Like, it's not COVID, mind you, but just like flus and colds. There's some bad stuff going around. So I hope everybody's protecting themselves, love, getting some good sleep. Gen X is fine, don't expect Oh, you, my friend. Oh, but regardless, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's going to be a really fun night. I'm going to see how things are going to wrap up. It's exciting. And uh, depending on how far we get tonight, uh, we might be doing something different for the next stream. So it, it all depends on how tonight goes. Hey there, Texas. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well where you are tonight. Uh, what have I been up to for the past week? It's actually been like insanely warm where I am for like the past like good few days I, I love it it's amazing but it's like it's it's like summery weather like we're, we're going up to like 22 celsius in Canada which is like unheard of for like the end of October it's it's so nice I'm like suspicious <laughs> I'm looking forward to this for a while I love to see people tackle this mission oh I mean I'll see how I do I've been sort of reading my YouTube comments on my VODs as well, and it, people have not been spoiling, which has been fantastic, but it's a lot of people being like, ooh, I'm really excited to see like how you react to some of the stuff that's coming up in the game, and I'm just like, man, if it's anything like Vermeer, I'm worried I'm gonna have my heart broken again. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm coming for Saren. Like, Saren's going down tonight. That's, that's how it's gonna happen, but I just... I, I think who was, somebody who was chatting in the last stream warned that, like, you could get lost in this upcoming mission. Like, they get lost often. So, uh, I'm a little concerned because I don't have the best sense of direction. You know this, I know this. So, uh, if there's a time crunch and I have to navigate, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Was that you, Texas? Okay. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's I'm gonna be a panicked mess. So I apologize in advance. Um, when I'm in the thick of it, I tend to get anxious. So, uh, yeah, apologies in advance. It's gonna be a little frantic. I'm gonna try my best to keep my wits about me. My best. That's all I can do. <laughs> it wasn't I can really... Ah. <laughs> Very 
Rizzy, what if Saren turns out to be your father's brother's cousin's uncle's former roommate? <laughs> Dark helmet. I'll be in the thing. Oh no, what does that mean? <laughs> Don't tell me, but oh, it's it's like the dread of it all like I Don't know. Maybe it's just it. Maybe I have too much empathy for my characters in the sense where it's just like I don't want them to get into trouble But then there's no game. Oh so what does that make us? <laughs> So uh, you know how last stream we were having some technical issues. I I have hopefully solved that for tonight the internet thing couldn't be helped, that was a freak accident, but the mouse issues have been rectified in the fact that uh, my my mouse I was using in my last stream has now been uh, locked up in jail. I'll be sending a sternly worded email <laughs> to Logitech about that one because I am not happy with that wireless mouse. They've done well for me for wireless mice in the past, but that one was awful last time. So. Again, apologies for the mouse problems in the last stream. It was nuts, but, but, thankfully, I've got a wired backup because when I got my new PC, it came with a, ooh, super gamer mouse that's super sharp and has 19 buttons on it that I don't know how to use. I guess, I got the bad one. But, uh, so now I've got like an, an over-the-top wired mouse. Works perfect. Like, I don't need much for my mouse, for my computer. This is overkill, but I am very glad I've got it for this. So I, I cannot blame any of this on mouse problems tonight. This mouse has been broken in. It's, it's top of the line, I suppose. It's sharp. <laughs> I have to be careful. Oh, Royal, yes! I... I'm gonna be playing it at some point on, on my play- I got it for PlayStation and I haven't gotten around to playing it yet, but with everybody talking about it now, now I really want to fire it up. And I'm on reading week two, so it's perfect timing. Really enjoying it, glad it's on Game Pass so I can play it on PC rather than home theater nonsense every time I want to play. Totally understandable. Sounds like your PlayStation's a jet fighter taking off. More buttons than a controller. Almost a keyboard. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Playing it on Switch. You know You can play it on Switch. Like, it's a fun game. It's versatile. I'm so glad that other people are getting the chance to finally play it for themselves. Because I've played it through twice. And I love it. But, no, sorry. That's the vanilla Persona 5. Still gotta play Royal. <laughs> I have it. Just haven't gotten around to it. Find new keyboards, new but retro, like old school mechanical. <gasps> nice! Grew up in the 80s and 90s and used to those old IP keyboards. You know what? It's kind of the same for me as well. Like, I grew up with like clacking keyboards. So it's like it, the newer keyboards that are just very flat and very slick, like, like the Mac keyboard. I've had to use it once or twice and it's just so foreign to me. Like, I need to have resistance when I'm typing. I type with purpose. You hear me clacking away twice a week. Good keyboards. I've played it before. I've never finished it this time in a while. Yes, stick with it. And let us know uh, who you are pursuing in your playthrough, unless you already know. Your keyboard's a membrane. There's no resistance. Ah, uh, okay. Oop, it is 7.30. Normally, I would love to continue the chatter, but uh, we we got a lot we gotta do tonight. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how far we get. Taking down Saren. I mean, it's just, it, it's like the save symbol being a floppy disk. It's like, nobody uses floppy disks anymore, but it's such, like, a tied-in image when you think of it. Like, it's, you don't even think about it. Or I don't know, maybe younger people are a bit more cautious of it. Or, not, no, I'm cautious right now, but are a bit more, like, curious about it. It might not be as easy an association for them. Oh, right, we cleared out here. We gotta make our way out. We still Star Trek PC. Keystroke of an actual thing. Oh, man. So they gotta get... Oh, nope, nope. I remember where I am now. I was just like, what were we doing? Is that the way out? Nope. <laughs> That's the bad room. We're not going in there. <laughs> Those were the consequences of our actions. Not interested. Hey there, Olaf. Welcome back to the stream. And no, we are heroes here. Okay, so... Elevator? Ooh, 
Ooh, thank you for the sub, JJ. Much appreciated. One year of froggy streams completed. Yes. Wait, am I not in the right? Nope. Wait, where were the... Were the elevators down below? Oh, they were, weren't they? Are they down here? Hello. Simon. Oh, wait, we gotta find the engineers. Ah, oh, right. Say, Shepard, you didn't happen to find any of my engineers, did you? Not yet. Can you think of anything that right. would help me I forgot them? I had to do this See part of the mission. See if you can tap into our transmission tower out on the surface. So focused on Zarin. Your equipment sheds will show up on your sensors. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. <laughs> we'll blow you up if it means getting rid of terrorists. Might be doing something different tomorrow if you finish today. Would be ME2 or a different game. I'll, I'll expand on that if we get to it. And once we get to the end of the stream, I'll explain. Just because it's like, if we're not even going to get to that point, then I'm not going to bother. Oh, okay, so that radio station we got, X50, X57 radio. I'll elaborate towards the end. Don't worry. Star trek in. <laughs> Man, if it was like, uh... Oh, what was it? Shatner put out like a an album back in the day. I, I think Nimoy did as well, actually, now that I'm remembering. It'd be funny if that's what it was. Wait, can I get up? Can I get up from here? Alright, how far are we? Oh, not too bad. Oh, yes! That, you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was trying to think of one of the songs off the top of my head, but yes, I do remember that there was a Bilbo Baggins song from Leonard Nimoy's album. Uh, yeah, I know, skip two. Just strike to three. No, no, it's it's nothing too world-ending or groundbreaking. It's just with a certain holiday coming up, I was thinking of potentially doing something in theme with that holiday on stream for tomorrow. But that depends on how far we get today. That's the big question. Okay. Uh, oh, we're getting there. And I'll leave it at that. And it would just be a one-off because we'd be going right back into Mass Effect in the following stream. Uh, it's not down there, is it? Nope, it's around. Yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way down there and find out I don't have to. Uh-uh. I like maneuvering around in the Mako, but not that badly. Uh, yep. Alright, we're getting there. Let's see if we can get up. That might be a bit steep. Whoop. <gasps> we made it. Alright. What do we got here? Let's repair it. Ooh. Oh, I know. Like, I haven't actually seen the original episode of that episode of Twilight Zone, but it has just been parodied, like, every- I feel like I have, just through osmosis. Data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations has been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map. Thank you. Ooh, there's quite a few. We could probably work our way around. Survey station twos, three... Okay, so we got this one right here, so we'll work on that. Whoop, hello. Okay, I think probably this. Yeah, it seems to be over that way, yeah. I don't want to fall too far <laughs> if I don't have to. I prefer having the high ground. Oh, it's beautiful. I saved that planet, you know. Ooh, yep, that's it. <laughs> it's gonna be, we're now, this is now a food eating stream. Hey, some of those people make bank. That means I get to eat and I can make rent. Pfft. Something, <laughs> yeah. There's something on the wing. Yeah. 
<laughs> I no, it it would never be an eating on the stream thing. I'm I I will freely admit I am not the most graceful eater. I'm I'm used to eating in a rush. Heading out. All right. Ooh. Ooh, we got some uh we got some bodies. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, National Care About You Day. Well, in anticipation, I want to let you know that I care about you. There, logic arrest tool. Interesting. The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. Oh no, it's likely he surrendered only to be executed by his sadistic captors. Son of a bitch. Good. None of them are in here. Ooh, Survey Station 3 final entry logged by Engineer G. Mendel. The central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. Man, if that's not a, an engineer's log, I don't know what is. I'm surprised our surface comms work half as well as they do. When sludges show up to relieve me, I'll... Okay, I probably mispronounced that. I'll go see if I can get the old girl back up and running. Sludges, sludges. Space, no one can hear you break the Geneva Convention. <laughs> Hey, if if the higher ups at uh at the council don't hear me, then it's all good. They, I'm a specter. I can do whatever I want. But then I'm just as bad as Saren. And seven day Mass Effect holiday. Should do a special stream that day. Ooh, actually that's so fun. That's n November seventh is the day after my birthday, so that'll be interesting. I will probably be playing Mass Effect. Yeah, because the 7th will be a Monday as well, I believe. Yeah, because my birthday's on the on a Sunday this year. Finished the newest Plague Tale game last night. Good game, very, very pretty. Ooh. It's one thing to have a good game, and it's another one to have a good game that's also gorgeous to look at. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. I have to say, I haven't played any of them. Ugh. Approaching operational boundaries. All right, all right. Recall. Ah, it's very close. That's funny. It's like around my birthday. Look at that. Make a sequel like in a different era. Okay, has, is that sort of what they've been doing up until now? Or has it been like different era every game? Oh, I am way in the outer zone. Yeah, I can pretty much guarantee I'll be playing Mass Effect on the 7th for Mass Effect Day. That much I can I can confirm at this point. No, the two games have been direct sequels. Oh, okay. Mass Effect, you play your all over. Oh no, sorry, I meant Plague Tales. Not um not Mass Effect. Sorry, I, I realize that is confusing. I've been kind of jumping back and forth in conversation topics. There is an exit. Hmm. Well, it's a chance to potentially, like, if the story still seems kind of open-ended, you could continue it, but, like, no, I think it's up. I mean, it'd be interesting to, it's always interesting when they take stories in different directions, so long as it makes sense. Ooh, hello. There is some stuff going on here. Juggler conversation. I mean, I'm trying. I can't. <laughs> I, I do my best. That's all I can do. Anything that needs done here? Say it's spoilers. Don't want to spoil for anybody watching. That's fair. Ooh, hello. What do we got here? Oh, crud. There we go. Ooh, thunder, assault rifle. Sniper rifle and Turian armor. Let's take everything. Anything? Oop, oh no, there's a body. This body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Oh, they tried to fight. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. Well, that's still not good, though. They found me. Damn Batarian. Oh, the Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. Mm. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. Oh. 
Well, that's another engineer. Please. Okay. I would ideally like to find one engineer in alive <laughs> at this point. I don't know if I should be getting my hopes up. Yeah, because I got... Yeah, survey station two. Ooh, we got a ways to go. Alright. Whoop! And... That's alright. The old girl can take it. There we go. Oh, is there? Oh, okay. Western Ridge. Okay. So I'll head that way then. Yeah, I am I am heading in the right direction. That's good. This better not be another trick to take on another Thrasher Maw, because ugh, I am. <laughs> I am done with those things. They put up a good fight. And I am only okay in fighting with this thing. So, people, who, man, man is the most dangerous creature, <laughs> the most deadly prey. Whoop! Hello. Oh, I'm going. Ah, uh, not doing too bad. Western Ridge here. So I was told there was loot, so. Ooh, we are hitting the edge though. Hmm. I'd be forced over this way. It is interesting where the boundaries are. Oh, hello. What is. Was this one of the. Yeah, it's one of the guns. Okay. Whoop! I was trying to drive around it. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, don't tell me I'm gonna be balanced right on top of that thing and I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, everybody's got a different tolerance for the spooky scaries. I, and I'm saying that as somebody who doesn't have a very high tolerance. So, I feel ya. What are we working with here? Okay, almost on the western side. Here we go. Actually, direction-wise, I probably planned this out as well as I was ever going to, just because I'm gonna have to go back to the main facility afterwards anyway, just to uh, let them know that uh, it's uh, not looking good. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to start. Yep, did this one. Y you know what? I haven't seen Tremors. I know it's one of the classics, though. But, like, I don't know. When you're a kid, the weirdest stuff sometimes scares you. Like, sometimes it's, like, it's something you watch later as an adult, and you're like, why was I even afraid of this as a kid? And it's like, because when you're a kid, it's scary. Like, here, I'll share my own. So, when I was a kid, I remember my dad showed me Labyrinth with Muppets, David Bowie. All around, generally, a very silly movie. It's written by a python. Like, it's a silly movie. But there's one scene where David Bowie takes a, a scarf, turns it into a snake, and throws it at Jennifer Connelly. And she, and it's like goes around her neck. Or no, it's a stick, and then it turns into a scarf. And like, it's fine, she's fine, she's not in any danger. But it was like, the the choking like the idea of her getting choked by it freaked me out as a kid i don't know what it was but it's true that scared me for a while when i was a kid silly total nonsense but it's freaky like sometimes you just you get scared of stuff i was a kid who was afraid of a lot of things the scorching on this victim's hard suit suggests he escaped the burning interior of his vehicle only to be gunned down by his assailants. Oh no. Oh, fantastic movie. Love it. Easily one of my favorites. 
But when I was a kid, there was that was the part that scared. I would like watch through my fingers. I was scared. You know what they are like logically. I'm like that's that is the scariest thing in that movie. But yeah, for whatever reason. Oh, oh! I didn't mean to run over the body. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. What, like was that? Was that your aunt's idea, or was that your idea? Because, I mean... Have you seen David Bowie's pants in that movie? It could easily have been your aunt's idea. <laughs> did I get the loot? Uh, yes, I did. I didn't... Admittedly, I didn't see what it was. But I did grab the loot. There was loot beside the body, and I got it. Here we go. Cousin's idea they were obsessed with that movie. May I ask, was was your cousin uh Got it. female, perhaps? Or Yeah. Uh nope, I'm not in the right place. I have to be up there. It's one of the better Omni tools. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, wait. I have the arrows on the map. How did I miss that? That's on me. I was thinking about Labyrinth. <laughs> my, my, my judgment was clouded. So I'll have to do a swap out with the Omni. Um, who should I have the Omni tool? She was eight or nine. Okay. All right. You know what? Labyrinth is like a, f I don't know, maybe just with Sarah, Je Jennifer Connelly's character. It's like with Sarah's a very like fun, female character when you're growing. I, I'm saying that as somebody who also watched Labyrinth while roughly around that age. There is, um... What is the redness? What is this redness that's happening right now? Hold up. What is, what is this? Is this normal? Is this what's supposed to be happening? Uh, sir, unfortunately, all of your people were, uh, burned up, killed, and I can't help you. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. It's in gross to the movie my three cousins are they're building a blanket fort. <laughs> you know what? Blanket forts are a team effort. That's understandable. Uh, but sometimes it's like three's a crowd and it's like, yeah, you handle it. Okay, so I'm trying to remember where his office is. Wait, was he in... No, was... Wait, was he down here? Yep, yeah, here he is. Okay, don't want to go too far. I'm getting lost already. This isn't a good sign. Say, Shepard, you didn't happen to find any of my engineers, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, if you don't mind sharing that. Wait, only two. I thought I got all three. Well, you gotta get chairs, you gotta get blankets, you gotta get those pillows... If there's any couches, can you maneuver them so you can put a blanket across? Like, you gotta, you gotta get creative. I found two of them. They didn't make it. I, I see. Oh. Well, maybe the last is still out there. Could you please keep looking? Take care of yourself. Oh, Be no. well, Shepard. We owe you. Okay. So we still got more. Okay. I didn't think the hunt for the engineers was gonna take this long. But I've already gone this far. So I went to Survey Station 2. I did, yeah, because I did the transmission tower. I went to the radio station. Survey Station 2. Oh, no, it was the vehicle wreckage. Oh, no. Oh, that's on me. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can speed along a little. Oh, I'm going to get that warning. You're going out of bounds, Shepard. Taken by Dave Bowie. <laughs> he stole it. He said he had to trade a sibling in order to get it back, and it's just like, mm, like I want the picture, but I don't want the picture that badly. Oh, geez. And like years later, I think it was Tokyo Pop licensed a, a Labyrinth manga sequel. That was of questionable quality. The cover art looked look cool. Uh, 
But that was pretty much it. <laughs> oh, there's a body. Yeah, I know that was like a really, like, that was a traumatizing one for a lot of kids. Looks like he died from a single shot through his helmet, likely from a sniper. Whoever killed him didn't even bother to search his body. There's still equipment in his service pack. Oh, biotic amp. Here we go. So, he's here. Where's... Is that the survey station? Footprints. Oh, you were supposed to find the survey station and then look for the body. Well, I found it. Faint footprints in the dust lead off to the east. Well, I know that, uh, like, the whole design idea with, like, the big hair for David Bowie and that was, like, very much based on, like, Japanese, like, pop stars at the time. I don't want to say Visual K. I'm trying to remember what the name for that style was in particular. But I know it was an influence. Oh, that's uh, that's wide open. Quicksand, more of an issue. I know, it was everywhere. Even in the 90s. Whew, made it. There's a lot of gear in this one. You know what? I'm glad I followed through. Survey Station 2, final entry. Logged by Chief Surveyor R. Montoya. Oh, speaking of another classic movie from the late 80s, early 90s. Communications are down and there are non-corporate drop ships landing near the main facility. There were flashes of light over the horizon. I can't be certain, but I'd guess it's heavy arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming the defense drones. I'm not waiting for my pickup, I'm going to investigate. <gasps> no! Whoa! Holy crap! Holy crap, okay. I was not expecting this. Okay, Tally, can you- can you get a- Here we go. Ooh, there's two more. Holy crap. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, uh, Tally, can you- Let's see. Here we go. Oh, Princess Bride's a classic. Love it. Batman, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, A Little Mermaid, Back to Future 2. Ooh, Back to Future 2. That's a lot of good movies for one year. And the last one. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're fine. Ooh, hello! What else can you throw at him? All right, we did it. They tried to get us. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Good job, ladies. Yeah, it was a bad. I feel like that was the Jack Nicholson one, wasn't it? <laughs> oh wait oh that's it that's the defense drones ah jeez clear. the asteroid did not have the best uh, security drones we had it under control it's all good okay back to the main facility for real this time let's go yeah cause um, I believe Batman Returns was 1994 if I'm remembering correctly. Hey there, Kay. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. Because I think they... Like, 1994 was another year where a lot of big movies came out. I know that was the Pulp Fiction year. Oh, it was 92. Okay. You know what? I like Batman Returns. It's, it's silly and it's goofy and it's campy, but it's just... It's so charming and Michelle Pfeiffer's really fun... She's great. Oh, ba oh, Batman Forever was 95. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting all my Batmans mixed up. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's 
possibly on here. Securing point. It's all right, Tolly. We got it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I totally forgot I had this mission with the engineers, uh, so I just found the last Same. one. <laughs> so now we can start. You didn't happen to find any of my engineers. Clooney's you? son. Let's go for decent. There, there was a decline. There was a decline in the Batman movies for sure. Uh, they did not make it. Yes, all of them. Sorry. Their bodies anyway. Oh, I, I see. Well then, I guess it's better than not knowing. Yeah, Take their families will appreciate it. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. I mean, it's closure. I'm playing Paragon Shepherd. I needed to give this man closure. Okay. Now we're going back to the Normandy. We're done for realsies now. Actually, uh, do I need to do conversations at this point? Like, is this one of the missions where, like, people can comment on it, or... Because I'm gonna just jump into it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. I always forget that Val Kilmer was Batman at one point. All right. I don't think they say much since this was DLC. Oh, actually, wait. I don't remember where we're supposed to go. So let me check my journal real quick. Sovereign, all right. Batman, Spawn, and Batman and Joker. Oh. Oh. Ilos, that's it. Ilos and stop Saren. I mean, it was nice of him to wait for us to finish our, our side missions. Here we go. Oh, that is way on the outskirts. All right, so we've just we've just got the one little zone. Refuge. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I hope this goes well. <laughs> I hope I don't kill too many more of my teammates. Point of no return, yep. Okay, so I have to check out these planets first. Look for any... I'm sure there's nothing at this point, but... Agatoton has a pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of gold. Surface gravity is, co is comfortable at 1.0 standard Gs. There are several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the size of the debris fields, a population of over 100,000 was likely. Can't get anything from it though. But safe. Zafe is a relatively small hydrogen and helium gas giant. There are several tenuous belts of debris in equatorial orbit. Spectral analysis of the material suggests artificial origin, perhaps the remains of stations that once mined Zafe for helium-3. All right, here we go. Going to Ilos. Oh, that looks like, that looks like final boss territory if I've ever seen it. In the golden age of the Protheans, Zylos was a verdant world, dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows that this is no longer the case. Zylos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Well, thank you for that little note. 38 Celsius. Ooh, that's uncomfy. Ooh, who am I taking with me? Oh. Shepard, may I speak with you? Is it is it happening? Is this happening? Is it happening? I'm glad you're here. It's time, I Shepard. Thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. Oh. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. 
It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. <gasps> our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. But wait. I thought you wanted to wait. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Oh, it's happening! Will you join with me, Shepard? <laughs> Let our bodies and minds unite. I don't want to die a virgin, Shepard. Oh, boy. All right. Well, <gasps> forget it. I mean, I guess they have to give you an out if you don't want to. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll have to, won't I? Just tell me what to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes, kids, look away. My shepherd has really only been with the blue ladies. <laughs> DOS, DOS. <laughs> butts! We get butts! Sorry, I'm ruining the moment. Now, those who played the original version, how much has changed between this version of things and the original one? I'm just curious. I know, we saw side bobs. We see top of bobs. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. <laughs> oh, is that really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, it's 100% the same. Nothing's changed. Okay. All right. Mass effect. I just, I'm sorry. It, it always makes me laugh when... In games that came out around this time where it was like, okay, like, we'll have, like, a sex, a suggested sex scene in our game. There's always that line afterwards where it's just like, protagonist, you're the best I've ever had. <laughs> I would love it in a game if it was just like, you gave a lackluster performance. <laughs> like, I feel like that'd be a Disco Elysium thing to do, to be honest. But yes, the blue booty. <laughs> That was incredible, Shepard. So, let's go again. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna say it's so bad. Just oh. you were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew relay. <laughs> I Joker's call. listening. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting, Shepard. Whatever Paramore was. I just wanted to say thank you for everything. I don't know, there's just something funny to me where it's just like a shepherd went through all the trouble of getting dressed and is like posing there like, oh hey, you just woke up? I've been up for hours. <laughs> you just give me a few minutes. <laughs> oh, here we go. So I guess there was controversy in the day from the blue booty. Can't have booties on our screens. What happens when kids see butts? Things uh, that they Commander, can't see in real life. We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, that I remember hearing engaged. about. <laughs> Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest <laughs> landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never have to make drop. any time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. <laughs> the Presley's trying his best. Presley is hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. <laughs> the descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. Shh. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Joker. I can do it. I mean, Gear up I'd, I'd say metro. that's more of a Joker. plus, but right on maybe that's that just faster. me. <laughs> if it's just like, by the way, your game is like an alien sex simulation aspect to it, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> and? <laughs> What's the problem? Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the so I didn't know Andromeda had full nudity. That's actually news to me. Interesting. Okay. All right, so we got our squad. We got to be going up against uh, Saren. Oh no. Okay. 
I need some tech. I need my boy. And... Is it? I know it's been Girl Squad the whole game, for a good chunk of the game, I'd say, in the latter half, but I don't know. I feel like this is probably a good spread here, because I have no idea what we're going up against here. Got some tech. I'm not useless. Oh, look at them all. I noticed that too, yeah. I mean, like, you the game was showing me, I was looking. <laughs> yep, comes full circle with the boys. They're my boys. Face me like a... like a man, Saren. No, that's gendered. We have to get inside Just face me, coward. The There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. We can try. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere I in this complex. I hope I don't need too much tech to override we'll to find that. some way to get it up and running again. All right. Well, we're on it now. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we got some more. Buddy. Okay. Ooh, hello. I mean, everybody is gonna have their own opinion of it. Absolutely. Good shot, boys. Good shot. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, what can we do here? And can we overload? There we go. Um. Oh, we got it. Okay, and there's somebody behind us. Oh, we did. Ooh, these the Protheans? Huh. I didn't look around. We were just <laughs> I was busy getting shot at. Okay. Liara Baris. Bias. Okay. I mean, you always find the writers have their favorites. They say they love them all equally. That's not true. <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't need that. Alright, what do we got here? Yes, got it. Some more company. Who do we got over here? Nope. Somebody. Hmm. Okay. That's odd, but all right. Hostile contact. Where? I have no- Ooh, hello! Jeez. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, I don't know if I'm heading the right way or not. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at the map. Okay, we got our plaza. Oh, that's gonna... Where does that go? Hold on. If we're not in a rush, I'm gonna check it out. Because I get the feeling there's something. They wouldn't put this all the way here if there was nothing. Take cover. There's one left. Ooh, good job. Good job, guys. <laughs> this is the part that can get confusing. Played this dozens of times, still get turned around. Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> Interesting. It's over this way. Here, I just want to do some frequent safety. I do like Liara. There we go. Don't even know what I have, but I'm just gonna take it. It's the end of the game. There were like a million of these little guys over here. Anything else? Oh, look at them all. All right, so we did this area, we did it. So I guess we could have come up this way. decrypt that. Let's go for it. Oh, come on. Yes! Alright. I don't know what that's gonna get me, but maybe something. <laughs> that was much of a bomb with her as the other party members. I mean, that's understandable. Like, whoa, hello! Okay, we got Geth Assault. Oh, just one. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Ooh. What do you see that I don't? Whoop! He phased in and out there a little bit. Fantastic. Good job. Frequent saves. Whoop! Thought I saw movement. Okay. Ooh. So that's the landing zone. Okay, so we are working our way around. We're just not doing it necessarily the most efficient way. <laughs> that's okay. There, okay. You two? Yep, close? Okay. They're on my six. We're good. Oh, this... Okay. All right. Good. Oop, I hear something. Hold up. All right. Yeah, well, you know what? It's perfect, too, because it gives you a lot of time to build up those connections with the characters again and, like, try the story in a different way. <laughs> I think I have spoken to Jay about the JJ about this before, and I think he has mentioned that uh, he he likes Tally. So uh, I I I can't comment for for JJ, but I believe that's a bullseye. <laughs> okay. So ooh, we are ways a ways a ways around. Should I be doing the elevator, or just keep going? Okay. Do I have to go up the elevator? Because I realized I'm kind of just by randomly running around. I'm, uh... Oop, there's, uh, there's quite a few. Okay. Uh, eventually. Okay. Ooh. 
part of me wants to clear out some of these guys first, but, you know, I can always come back. Okay. So what's the best way back? Because they're, they're always regenerating enemies in some of these areas anyway, so it's like, I may as well just do it now. To get to a low point somehow and turn the elevator, I think. Oh! Oh. Okay. Get in there. Here it is. No respawn here, nah. Uh, hmm. Seems to not be working. Yeah, I'm at the elevator. She busted. Alright. No worries. We can go back the way we came. There is a ramp that goes down. Oh! Okay. Alright, ran back, ran back. <laughs> I think I did that, though. I did, I went down this way. I remember, that's where all the... The little, uh... The jumping ones were. I remember that. I went down that way. Yeah, because I went down this way, and then I came around. Yeah. Okay, so I just checked the elevator. Did that. So, I've already gone down this way. I'm like 99% sure I already did. Yeah, because this is where they were jumping around. Okay, I get the feeling I should probably just proceed then. Because that's not working. I've already done the, the ramp going down. So. Oh, well, thank you so much for stopping by, Gabsby. I hope you have a good night. Enemies coming up. Woo, hello. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. All right. Let's, uh, shields up. Got him. I can't get a visual. Got him. Okay, we're good. Good time. Good job, boys. All right. We're in the courtyard. Ooh, hello. Ooh. There's something going on over there. Don't like that. Ooh. Ah, crap. Oop, I'm gonna have to give this another try. Just all right. I I almost gave up on that one. All right, and we got some dudes over here. Ooh, oh. got one. Garrus, what are you doing, dude? Okay, got him. We're good. Go team. 
Oh yeah, we would have snuck in this way. Oh, okay. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, I think we can go that way. This looks right, okay. Ooh, I could open that. Okay, nothing else to see here. Just want to check first. Okay. Ooh, this looks like a not so fun elevator. Um, I wonder if I should continue looking around first. Woo! Hello. God. Gotcha. Ooh. Jeez, they're fast. <laughs> the boys took care of it. We're all good. <laughs> Ooh, there is another door here. Very interesting. Ooh, which door do we want to go through? <laughs> all right, so we made it all the way through and we've got two elevators. Okay, let's go in this one. I have no idea if this is the right one. Oh right, can't save in elevators. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, how are we feeling about this? Doing pretty good. Didn't mean to be staring at Shep's butt, but here we are. Hello. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Sam's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. Of course. What does he we'll care about his guns? We'll have to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that box. Okay. Ooh, okay. What are we working with here? The security armature bay. Oh, the security room. Okay, we definitely gotta go in there. Elevator. Security panel, of course. Okay. Alright, we got a bit of a, a trek ahead of us. Oh, uh, let's pray. Alright. I'm not a religious woman, but... we doing? Ooh. Oh, he already used a shield boost. Uh, let's see. And what can we do here, Rex? Ooh, we leveled up. Nice job. Got one left. Come on, buddy. Come here. How are we doing health-wise? Okay, not too bad. Where are you? Where are you? Did you die? Okay. Alright, you must have. I'm able to save. Okay. Wait, is there- what- hold on. Is there stuff back here? Oh, there is stuff back here. What's back here? more dudes here. Okay. No, we're good. Alright, we're good. Cleaned up. Nice job, gentlemen. Able to run up top? Oh, we could have. Oh. Oh, that would have been good. Okay. Well, <laughs> for another playthrough, I suppose. It's like, where is she taking us? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if we can take this. Here, hold up. Let's save first before I completely muck this. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh no. No! Alright, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Got it, baby. Oh, hello. 
Don't like that. Oh, hold on. No, you're with us, right? You're, you're okay, right? It's, it gets, I see those things and just it's, it's fight or flight activates immediately. Yes. Okay. Yes. Second one. Let's go. Um, how, ooh, how many of these do I get? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Oh, no. Here. Let's try it. Um. But we're, we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're at the end of the game. We can afford to do this now. <laughs> we're using Omni Gels. Screw it. We're at the end of the game. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's save. Okay. I imagine it's up top. Okay, I'm not missing anything else, am I? Ooh, hello. What do you do? Why are you so difficult? Oh, crap. Oh my god. Oh, the last second. Dang it. All right. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Too much on the line. All right, let's do this. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. Nah. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on, something's happening. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. Oh, okay. I was wondering, I was just like, is this just a weird line thing? It's like, oh, I can understand it, but they can't. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean. Hey there, Andrea V. Welcome mind. to the stream. Not safe. Okay, so I can keep Secret using it. We're all good. <laughs> Inside the archives. Ooh. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, thank you for the follow. Jazz Cannibal. Much appreciated. All is lost. Uh, it's, it's not really clear. <laughs> we said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. I'll find a way. Be <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. Okay, let's see. So I looked on that side. Ooh, is there anything on this side? No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all I have to do is, and that's it. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay, so we want to go to the archives room, according to them. Ooh, I love how it's got a little pointer. It's just like, hey, dummy, don't get lost. Oh, it's all ready for us. Look at that. Doing all right, Rex? Garrus has got his very stylish suit. I got him. All right, no, no chit chat. That's okay. It's a, uh, it's a big moment. That's understandable. All right, and 
what have we walked into here? Oh, oh, that's okay. That's how we end up back at the elevator. Hmm. Yeah, I'd love to see that. I don't know if I've seen that before. I love Hugh Laurie. Okay, courtyard. Okay, so we want to go to the elevator? Okay, so it gave me a marker before where I needed to go. So actually... Oh, right, I leveled up. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta level up first. Uh, let's... No, it smacks out Shock Trooper. Why not? Uh, nothing. Oh, yep, yeah, we got four. Okay, we're good. Let's do Master Damping. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's put in a bit of decryption, a bit of damping, and Rex. Like we gotta, we gotta give you a bit of throw here. There we go. Oh, right, I was gonna look at- oh. Oh, I'm in the elevator still. Ilos, find the conduit. Enter the archives. Return to your vehicle and follow Saren into the underground archives. Okay, so I can- oh, back to the vehicle. Okay. See, I'm remembering. When in doubt, refer to the journal. Yeah, back to the vehicle. There's probably gonna be more enemies. No? Oh, I do. Here we go. Aha. I thought Sharon would have set some kind of trap or ambush. Mmm, don't say that. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Yeah, I think Rex is right. <laughs> I, I think uh, Rex is on the money with that one. It's Boost. Oh, um. Uh, oh, thought I saw something. Okay. Okay. Nothing. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? Mm. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably try to keep themselves up. Oop, got somebody up ahead. Here we go. Where are you, buddy? No, got him. We're doing good. If I can keep sniping with the Mako, we're good. Ooh, now that you mention it, yes. It's kind of ominous. Whoop, hello. <laughs> Those roots. Ooh, what is that? What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Well, it's just, it's calming music in a tense situation, which to me is always like, mm, something's going on here. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> That's what I mean. You know, I really like it. I have a lot of fun on the Mako. I'm a terrible driver in it, but it's a lot of fun. I actually really like the parts with it. What do you think we're going to find down here? It has to be useful if it specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. <laughs> oh, right. Off the elevator. Then we can save. <laughs> it's just one hallway. Uh, that doesn't look good. You are not Prothean. But you are not machine either. Correct. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. 
Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. So help us. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Oh, fun. Uh, so what are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Oh, yeah, I know him. He's nice. We met at the Christmas party. Uh, so what would you, what do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. Yep. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Mm, not ideal. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? Uh, it's the all Reapers coming together. Are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. Mm. That is why they created a species of seemingly <gasps> benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Man, I should have gone to search out all those Keepers at the Citadel. That's on me. They were evil. Reapers in dark space. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? Uh, we have only do. theories. It's the researchers here keepers. came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. Makes sense. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. Mm. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and, and transportation swag. across our empire were crippled. Just little flies. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Um, I don't know if I want to say you didn't surrender, it's like all of you. Some of you must have managed That's to survive. That's more reasonable. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they the knew everything about brokers. us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Aww. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I mean, I want to know this. Why did they do this when the Reapers leave? What do the Reapers get out of this? Yeah. Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them. 
not in understanding But them. sometimes you need to understand them before you can stop them. <laughs> I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Of Before the Reapers <laughs> attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. Hmm. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Hmm. Conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these yeah. archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. Mm. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. Yeah. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. It's a we were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope wow. was to remain undetected. Vigil's I began just to disable being. the life support of non-essential personnel. Mm. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Soon there was no one left. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated True. back through yeah. the Citadel Relay. <laughs> you thought it was just a fun name. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I feel like, while this is, for Paragon, this is the reaction I need to have, um, based on my own actions, I feel like this is kind of hypocritical to say, but I'll say it. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I was just following my programming. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. Yeah. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. <gasps> the Keepers. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. No. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Oh, it, unless Saren succeeds. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. All right, let's do this. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? 
I've never heard of anything like that. I have a sea Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. But, but I need to get there before he does. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. And then go back Keeping to sleep. its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. And that's why it found Saren. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces okay. of every organic species against it. Giving it plenty Even of time. Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Hmm. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? Oh, At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit mm. data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we, we figured had it was to a try. Crop shoot. <laughs> if there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. Okay. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. I mean, we never realized they did it what could they lead could an agent of the, the machines like Saren to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination. Oh, am I going to have to fight Keepers to if obedient. I'm back at the Citadel? In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's <laughs> oh, well, hold welcome back. Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Easier to program to, I imagine. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and No, let's tell go. us more. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. 
All right, we got our Paragon. So, uh, that was crazy, right, guys? I mean, <sighs> Protheans, the Keeper. So oh, looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. Yeah, it's a little like. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like this. Oh, wait, you gotta step out. Here we go. I mean, it completely necessary. Somebody up ahead. Well, got them both. Almost in the whole series. Well, I mean, it's the end game monologue about what we've been doing this for. Is that? No, it's the aqueduct. Oh, okay. Actually, hold up. Where are we going here? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Alright. Whoop. No. Get rid of that. Alright, we'll just follow it. It's gonna be some enemy resistance here. Jump on them a bit. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. I'm getting hit, I know. Oh, crap. There we go. Alright, I think we got them all. Here we go. Doing good, doing good. Okay, whereabouts are we? Okay, just turn in the first corner. There's somebody. It's probably on the other side. So I'm just on the U. Frequent saves. Ah, oh. <laughs> just, just missed. <laughs> Yep. 
there's still some more up ahead. even happen? Yeah. No, I think that's the aqueduct entrance. Here we go. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Okay, I think we're in... Whoop, we're in the final stretch. Here we go. Seeing something moving. Don't like that. What the hell is that? There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. <gasps> Gotta get moving. These Jeff aren't gonna make it easy on us. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope, don't like that. Space jump. <sighs> I'm gonna try. Activate the defenses, seal the station. The arms aren't moving, systems not responding. You beat me there? Oh, it was <sighs> critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency oh evacuation. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're landing it. We made it. We made it. It's a mess, but we made it. <laughs> Now we gotta get around the citadel. Okay. Okay. So what are we looking at here? So we got Avena. <laughs> yeah, make go down. Oh nope, can't go that way. Oh. Oh. Whoa, hello. Good job, boys. Okay, now I can talk. <laughs> I did not. Oh, she's not doing too well right now. Uh, final area of the game. Okay, all right. We're in it now. We're in it. Give me a rundown of the damage. Everything is hell. <laughs> Environmental controls are not responding. Oh no. Class three fires are burning in sectors two, three, six, and seven. Civilian casualties are high. Oh, that's not good. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the council? Let's just take our time here. Standard emergency procedures. <laughs> it's important I need to know. To the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? Captain Anderson is in jail. I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. 
Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Oh, really? They're Come on. slacking. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin. Okay. All right. That's our next An emergency evacuation procedure. This is not a drill. Critical failure. <laughs> oh, Somebody bring him in. Hi. Uh, so this place is gonna need a lot of work. Well, a lot of rootin' tootin' and shootin' here. Oh boy. Oh, he's killing off the keepers. Man, I'll need a trip to Vermeer after this. If there's a Vermeer after this, if there's the much of anything, after they're this. sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Close up. <laughs> oh man, this is this is dire. This is oh, that's mm, that's not good. Oh boy, I think he got it. Of course he got it. It's the end of the game. Of course he got it. No. It's just like, meh. Shrug. Shrugging off smaller ships like it's nothing. It's creepy arm. It's fingies. Yeah. <laughs> the, the narrative kept him safe. Not ideal. What am I gonna go out there and just be like pew pew pew? Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. It's becoming like a Mission Impossible level. Just gotta. Oh. That's a lot. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is cool, though. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh jeez, there he is. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at our map here. Uh, uh, just, a, just a little ways to go. <laughs> just a little ways. Let's, uh, whoop, don't, all right, ooh, nice job, gentlemen. see if I can do anything about that. I don't know if I have anything to do that. No. Alright, we're gonna have to head out. Nice job, gentlemen. Saving. Everybody's health's doing good. Doing good. All right, whereabouts are we? Ah, uh, barely anywhere. All right. Or oh, oh wait, 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 wait. No, nope, we worked our way down. No, nope, we're doing good. Um. Gentlemen. 
Gentlemen, please don't shoot me. Ooh, all right. Can I can I get a boost there? Gentlemen? Dude. Okay, good. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Woo. All right. We're on cooldown. Can we can we get non cooldown? Oh, hello. Fantastic. Okay. Got him. Nice! <laughs> yeah, not Rex, but... Alright, alright. We're okay. Just stop rushing me, dude! Need to be doing this. Ah, whatever. <laughs> okay, here. Ooh, we got a bunch. Fantastic. Okay, we got two more here. Excellent work, gentlemen. Alright. Uh, doing okay. We've... We got a bit to go, though. We got a, we got a ways. Alright. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Oops. Um, nope. Up. Stay with me. I'm just making sure I know where I'm... Okay, no, it's this way. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, we got somebody up ahead. Sir. Nice job, gentlemen. Excellent job. Whew, okay. with the stream of thing. Okay. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Joao Montero. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. So am I am I doing the correct thing by like shooting at like the Geth troopers while it's firing at them? 
Because I imagine I'm just waiting till that depletes, correct? Alright, good. Alright. What webcam am I using? Ooh, thank you. Um, it's a razor camera. I don't have the box near me right now, but I remind me towards the end of the stream, I'll let you know. But it is a razor webcam. I think I'm doing the right thing. Okay, I'm doing great. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm doing my best. That's. I'm just trying to keep my boys happy. All right. All right. Uh, shields wise, the guys are doing great. They're doing fantastic. I am so proud of them. Oh, that's it. Yes, it's the Keo. Thank you. That's. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I'm like, I see the box over there, but I can't see on the angle what name it is. I'm that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep trying to keep my boys happy. We're getting there. Almost done. Ooh, is that it for the geth drops? Ooh. Hold on. Manual bypass, let's go. <laughs> oh, never mind, we're good. Ooh. Okay, all right, all right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're doing okay. Man, I could have been running to those other ones, and I didn't. I should've, I made it more difficult for myself, but I mean, that's the story of my life. <laughs> All right, here we go, we got some goons up ahead. Ah, friggin'. Oh, fantastic, that's one down. Pop out, you. Oh, Jones Clamping, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Come on out, come out, you. Of here, dude. I don't have time for this. You too. Don't have time for you. Fantastic. Alright. Way to go, team. Alright. Uh, still not looking. Oh, hey, you. Oh, good job, gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, if we had those uniforms, it'd be perfect. Gentlemen. Okay, all right. We got, we got some goons up ahead. We got, oh, we got, we got a lot of stuff going on here. All right. Ooh, that's it. The emergency access to Citadel Council Chambers. Ooh. Getting close. We're getting there. Ooh. That sounds delicious. Ooh. not shooting me, please? Alright. So, oh yeah? Ooh. Yeah, can I get off? Whoa. Hello. Bring it on. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, oh, shoot. I just saw Scaris, didn't I? Ah, crap. Yeah, we're getting close. Okay. Uh, unity. 
Get it, eh? Okay. All right. How are we doing, boys? How are we doing here? Good as new. Here we go. Ooh, excellent job, gentlemen. All right, carnage, carnage. Overkill. I do not have carnage. <laughs> uh, but they're getting there, though. Rex! Fantastic. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Excellent job. Oh, is it a shotgun power? No, I didn't really do too much uh, of that. That's on me. Um, okay. Um, good job, gentlemen. We, uh, oop, we got somebody over here still. Hey, you. I don't know who you are. Get out of here. I ain't got time for this. Okay. Oop, yep, yeah, we're going the right way. Oh, could we have taken a shortcut? We could have taken a shortcut. Ah, boo. That's okay. Here we go. Gotta get down there now. Still doing well without it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is gonna be some gonna be some hell stuff right oh this looks like a final boss arena if I've ever seen one jeez all right let's see how we do here hmm look where we are everybody's health's doing okay Woo! thank you guys okay let's see what else we got here hey you Picking them off one by one. Here, there's one more of you. Get out of here. Come on. Come out. Come out. I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi. Come out. Got ya. Oh, we got two more. Got two more of something. Ooh, hello. Where'd you go? Guys, if you can get that one over there, please. Ooh, they've moved over. Okay, let's uh, let's up shields a little bit here. Got him. Okay. They put a bunch of Krogan battle now. Oh my god, that's a nightmare. Look at the map of the council chambers. Um, you know what? I don't think I had up until this point. I will say this looks like Darth Vader's mask. This should have been a clue from the beginning, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, why use a sniper rifle when you can just use a pistol but treat it like a sniper rifle? Yeah, or like a reaper, yes. Admittedly, I personally have not had too close of a look at a Reaper, so I don't have too much experience to base that off of. Darth Reaper. I mean, those feel pretty synonymous. Same as, well, evil. It's enough. Where'd he go? Coward. Oh, not the friggin' floaty thing. Yeah. He was right there in front of your I face. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. I always make it on time. 
Even when I'm busy getting busy with my blue girlfriend. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I'm going to stop you, Saren. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. So you now do admit that you've been taken as a pawn by Sovereign. Oh no. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. Ooh. Next level the doubts now. began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now How's my that working out for you? I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? No, I'm strong. The relationship strong. is symbiotic. Organic <laughs> yeah. and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. Mm. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. I know this is not going to be enough, but I'm gonna go for it anyway, because dang it, I upgraded that charm skill. I'm gonna try and use it at every opportunity. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. <laughs> Step aside and the Well, I mean, you gotta fight happen. the Mantis men. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. I mean, if Cave Johnson told me to get the implant, it'd be like, alright. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. He can't fight Maybe this. Right. Maybe there is still a chance for, for... Oh! He's assuming direct control. The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. He actually is fighting it, though. I'm doing better with this than I was than trying to convince that John guy. On Pharaohs. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Oh. <gasps> hey. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Oh my god! It worked! It's He's still gonna come back in some way. I, this isn't over. This is obviously not over. It's just gonna be full robot Saren. But like... Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Fantastic. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the uh, fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. Let's do this! Let's do it! Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The council is on board. I repeat, the council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the council? What have they ever done for your kind? This Been is bigger headache. than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. Uh... What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? Oh no. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, Andy Dufresne got the best one. Oh, man. Uh, 
Such a good movie. Who do I save? Oh my goodness. Ooh, I mean, saving the council is probably, like, I'm a specter. I, I would love to help out the Alliance in any way I can. But I could be saving the council. Man, the humans are gonna hate me after that, though. Ashley, Ashley might just, she'd be like, listen, my grandfather, mm, she's gonna have some grappling to do with that decision. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Garrus is usually saying the opposite. That's interesting. Okay, well, I mean, Rex is never gonna be pro-council. So make sure you save who will die when you sacrifice in the decision. What are the pros and cons for saving the council for the human race? Um, they'll help them rebuild. Is all I can think of. Um, it's just, it, it's a numbers thing. It's like, I would, like, saving humanity, definitely up there. But saving the council is, I think, gonna help us out better in the long run, I think. Worth the cost of human lives? Um, I mean, ideally, nobody would die, but in this situation, like, the council being in upheaval is, like, the worst thing that can happen, essentially. It's like, killing a bunch of people, completely awful. Totally avoid it if you can, if you can help it. But it's like, the, if the council is in upheaval, that's a bunch of alien races that are gonna be scrambling for power, that are gonna be confused, they're not gonna be able to mobilize, they won't be able, be able to join their efforts in the long run to go up against Sovereign. Uh, by the way, I have no idea what happens later on in the game, so this is just purely my speculation. Spoiler free, but it's like, saving the council, I think, makes the most sense. I'm gonna hate it. Um, humanity's gonna hate me for it. I'm not gonna be in with the Alliance so much anymore. They're gonna be super pissed, but it's like, in the general threat of the Reapers, having the council with everybody is much more important. <laughs> yeah, fourth invisible option, bye-bye. <laughs> I, I can appreciate the struggle of trying to word things without spoiling, but, um, programming one companion advocates for one. No matter who you bring, yeah, they they need to show both sides of it. I'm just catching up on the on the chat as I was ranting there for a minute. This is that train meme. It, it it's the trolley problem. It's it's the trolley. I'm I'm gonna choose save the council. I know this is gonna have some bad repercussions for me with humanity, but I feel like having a unified council that can help humanity repair is a better outcome. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of, like, the overall galaxy state of things as opposed to just, like, a very, like, Earth-human-centric way, I guess. Maybe that's kind of where I'm coming from. I'm saving the council. I knew as soon as they said, humans are gonna die or we're saving the council. It's like, I gotta save the council. I gotta. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension no matter what the cost. I hope the council appreciates this. Oh, I hope so too. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm in trouble. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Oh, this is gonna end bad. I'm in so much trouble. Mendo, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. Okay. <laughs> they don't always listen to me, though. I warn them. I told them. Destiny Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. Oh, 100%. They're gonna... The Citadel's <laughs> opening. All ships move in. Concentrate this on... This looks summer. fantastic, though. This is cool. I love this. Yes. Get him! Yes! You're about to be hated by your people, Shepard. Make sure he's dead. No, he's alive, isn't he? Oh, he's definitely still alive. There's, there's no way. There's no way. Or maybe not. 
He's dead. Can't go into overkill. God damn it. Okay. Ooh, we're barely. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. He's overeating all of my weapons. Oh, jeez. Now we got more reinforcements here. Mechanical vet. Yeah. Okay, we're making a dent, though. We're making a dent. Can't do overkill, though. do here for shields. Oh, everybody's shields are down. Alright. Let's see if I can do this without dying. Ooh, okay. Uh, gentlemen, how are we doing? I'm doing great? Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, okay. What can we do about this? All right. Ooh, all right. Okay. We're holding them off, we're holding them off. Ooh. That's not great. Oh, no. Sovereign's too strong, we have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Hack it! Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Hack it! Okay. What do we got? Okay, we got... One or two more. And around. Okay, health-wise, we're all fantastic. That's great. Everything's off cooldown, which is wonderful. Uh, let's sabotage him again. guys. Doing okay? We're doing okay? Alright, what can we do that? Ooh, hello. Where is he? Freezing up here. I know, that was nice. It was very nice of him to let me do that. Yes. Oh, dang it. I wish he wasn't behind it, though. Whoop. Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay, we got some more gaff around, but we're doing okay. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Here, let's go for that. Let's get overkill. Ooh, we're Ooh. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Not the accountants. Go! Uh oh. Yeah, if I had to wait till tomorrow to like see this play out, no. <laughs> That's not gonna work. But oh my god. Look how much damage all those little fingies did. Sovereign. Buddy. Come on. Uh, so the citadels, it's gonna need some work. Put up some new drywall. It'll be fine. You wait. I was like, Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. <gasps> my boys, my boys are safe. Take it easy. Oh, good, Anderson's it's still over. here. You're safe now. Where's the commander? No. I'm dead, but it's like, my boys. <gasps> there I am. Here she comes. Of course she has to stand atop the wreckage. Fucking badass as hell. I love her. Aww. Holding her arm just a little bit like she sprained it. You know what? Ambassador, that... Captain, Commander Shepard. I put on that armor by accident. I just we love it. I stuck here with it. To recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance yes. forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we. I had to save the Council. I'm sorry. There is no greater sacrifice. Had to save Armin Shimmerman, damn it. the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander. One we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. Aww, these and are, though we cannot bring nice back words. those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, Ooh. on behalf of humanity and the Alliance, we it, thank it, you for this up, prestigious buddy. honor 
and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Ooh. I get to pick. Well, I mean, I get politics McBackstabby over here, Ambassador Udina, or I get cool guy Keith David, Captain Anderson, who stuck his neck out for me and is basically my dad. Hmm. I wonder who I'm going to pick. Oh, I know there's going to be consequences for this one, but I mean, I gotta, if it keeps more like Keith David around, I'm going to pick Keith David. I'm, I gotta. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like <laughs> Everybody Captain waited Anderson. till after I Him? picked. It's like, you oh, so dear. joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Ah. Are you sure about this, Commander? The He's my dad. a soldier, not a politician. Uh, yeah, his ambitions got to Like, I was with him early on when he was, like, actually trying to help me out. He was really fighting on my behalf. I appreciated that. But then he started getting in my way, and he grounded me, and I'm not cool with that. He's, he's my stepdad to my Keith David dad. It's just not the same. I'm not picking you. Then I pick you. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Me, single-handedly. The rest are like, okay. <laughs> sure, all right. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, That's we must dad. stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. And it decides everything. We did it, guys. We did it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without your help. Is this like the, the sequel hook?
I know I've been talking about the quarry. We're not playing the quarry. We, we will get around to the quarry because I do really want to play it. But I just wanted to take a little breather between Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. So, I'm going to be playing Duck Season. I've heard it's a fairly short game. I've heard it's scary. I know nothing about it except that it's kind of loosely based on Duck Hunt. And I'm scared. <laughs> Elmer Fudd's there, it's great. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be playing some duck season tomorrow. I've been told that it's got multiple routes, different endings, so I'll be curious to see what one I end up getting. And <laughs> fire! So we're gonna go a little bit spooky tomorrow. So I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, Twitter down below is gonna have all the details on that. Uh, it's going to be tomorrow at 7.30 if anything changes. Twitter down below is going to have all the details. And if you're watching this VOD on YouTube right now, chances are this has already been uploaded. Because the stream we do tomorrow, I'll make sure it's uploaded on YouTube for Halloween. So if you're watching this on YouTube right now, check out my Halloween one. I'll try and remember to put a link here. If I don't, you'll be able to find it in my videos. But I'm excited. I've, I've been told it is quite spooky and unsettling and I don't play scary games, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna wait till this finish, uh, finishes off first, but I figured I would do the whole spiel here. We're not wrapping up just yet. Don't worry. We're just... We can chit chat a little bit. I just wanted to get the business side of things out of the way, just so that we knew what was in store for tomorrow because some people were asking earlier on in the stream and I was kind of hinting at stuff. So we're going to be playing a bit of a spooky game tomorrow. But, uh, I'm, I'm glad we got to finish this tonight. <laughs> Welcome back. I know it's an, it's, it's a bit of an extra, uh, an extra bit here and there. It's really only an extra like 20, almost half an hour, but like that's, I, I warned, uh, when they brought, it's just like, it's going to go a bit late tonight because we're finishing the game. No matter what happens tonight, we're finishing this game. Duck season's fun, nostalgia. Okay. I Admittedly, I did used to play Duck Hunt a lot when I was a kid. We had, like, the gun and everything, and oh, spent quite a bit of time playing that as a kid. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm, like, you've seen me in shooting games where I have a weapon. I am a coward. <laughs> So, we'll see. Uh, but I'm excited. It's it, We will get around to the quarry at some point, because it is a game that I do really want to play. I just didn't want to take too long of a break between the Mass Effect games, because now, like, like, I'm in it now. Like, I, I gotta know what happens next. So taking a stream to take a breather, play a spooky game for Halloween, that seemed to make the most sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So there is no stinger at the end of this, correct? I'd be curious what it cuts to. I probably should in my spare time read over the codex. Or actually, do I need to save any different now? in order for it to, to carry over into ME2. Any costume for tomorrow? Unfortunately, I've been super busy with work, so I am I am hoping to make the stream a little bit spookier, but unfortunately, I don't have too much in the way of a costume. I have been working on some stuff, though. I'm hoping it's, it's going to look okay for tomorrow, so... I can't promise anything, but I am going to make it look a bit more Halloween spooky for tomorrow. Unfortunately, school's kept me so busy. I haven't been able to. And also, all of my local stores that normally have Halloween stuff have, like, totally run out. Like, super early. So it's like, I even went, like, the other day to look for stuff and there was nothing. They've got Christmas trees out. Anyway, so I don't need to save or do anything different from here. This is just going to carry over into two, correct? Because, like, what would what would resume do at this point? <laughs> okay, so it will just carry over. So I can just exit. We're good. 
Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> it's already it's already bad enough. I've got like my water bottle for stream is my sippy bottle is like eternally winter even in the summertime. <laughs> okay, I'm good for now. All right. Yes, or use your data to start a new game. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. So I think we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the end of Mass Effect 1. It was a very fun roller coaster. I'm excited to go on the next one and see what kind of boot alien bootlicker slurs I'm going to get called by the alliance members cuz I mean that's what I signed up for, but I saved the council. So, you know, Oh, well, thank you so much for joining me today, Jazz Cannibal. Everybody, thank you all so much for joining me for this really fun stream. I know we went a little bit long today, but we did it, we finished it, and I'm looking forward to some spooky streaming tomorrow, so I hope you'll join me for that. Until then, guys, have a lovely rest of your night, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Halloween duck season streaming. See ya!